Hey, it's Todd, Red River Tactical Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the slide, Glock 17 slide from Brown Ales. Uh, this slide is made, it is cut, pre-cut for the Trijicon RMR and has front cocking serrations and this particular slide has a lightning cut on the top. All right, so when I got this slide in, I was building this gun, actually. I had the frame, ordered the frame for Glock, uh, wanted to put an RMR on it. So Brownells had this slide, and I'm just going to be completely honest with you. The reason I got this slide from Brownells was because of the price. It was around $169, uh, so the cheapest uh, slide that I found, and so I thought I would try it out. <clears throat> when it came in the mail... I was really impressed with the looks of it. The finish is really nice. Uh, everything looked really good about the about the slide. When I started putting the slide together, all the internals in the slide, the only thing that I noticed that was any different from the Glock slide was that inside the firing pin channel where the striker goes, there's a little sleeve in there. Uh, and it has to be in there for the striker to sit tight in there and be able to function. This one, the brown ales slide they put that sleeve in there from the factory so you don't have to put it in which is really good because it takes a special tool to get it out and put it in but this one was really extremely tight the striker did not want to go in there uh, fool around with it a little bit and finally it went in and once it went in it functioned fine uh, i tested it back and forth with my hand and everything and it functioned fine didn't have no issues so I got all the internals together on it, and I didn't have the RMR at the time. And I said, well, I'm going to go out and shoot it and see how it, how it works. It didn't work. Uh, about every two to three rounds, it would stovepipe. And I noticed it was a weird-looking stovepipe because it would feed the next round and then stovepipe the spent casing. So I knew that was weird, so I got my video camera out and videoed it where I could play it in slow motion and watch it and what I determined and I had another guy that shoots with me he's a Glock armor and what we both determined was this slide was cycling way too fast and this is a nine millimeter and it felt like you were shooting a 10 millimeter with the recoil the recoil was really bad on it uh, about twice what it normally is so with that lightning cut and no weight on it that slide was cycling way too fast and it was closing before the spent casing could get out so I did call Brownells and talk to them about it and they told me they said try it break it in put an RMR on it that I add some weight to it uh, and shoot it and if it keeps happening they told me send it back they would replace it or refund my money they was really good uh, so I got the RMR on it put the RMR on it and haven't had any issues whatsoever and I probably got at least a thousand rounds through it with the RMR on it with no malfunctions uh, to speak of so it's working great uh, now one th one issue that I did have and still have an every now and then is when I take this gun apart and you see it it's not loaded and I'm gonna take it apart and now I'm gonna put it back together so with a normal Glock you should be able to put this thing on the slide and put it back together. This one, you've seen it catch, and then you forced it, and then it went on. Uh, and it's break, the break-in is helping that, but what I was having to do was I was having to push this trigger bar all the way forward until it clicked to be able to get the slide to go back on it. Now, not sure what was causing that, but as you see now, it goes on just like a normal Glock slide after uh, that thing's been broke in for, for, for a bit. So I'm having no issues and I'm really happy with this slide from Brown Ales. For the price of it, you're not gonna beat the finish. And this is after over a thousand rounds, as you can see, and the finish is fine. That RMR's a little rough. That RMR's been on a lot of guns, but uh, that I, I wanted to make sure everything was going to work before I went out and spent all that new all that money on a new RMR, and this one functions fine. But uh, 
<clears throat> the slide's really good. If you're thinking about buying it, I don't think you'll be disappointed in it. The main thing that I really, really like is how deep that RMR sets in that slide. You can see most of your uh, MOS or your RMR cut slides, the RMR does not set that deep inside the slide. And in fact, it actually sets so deep that uh, you can most aftermarket Glock sights, you don't even have to get suppressor height sights to be able to see. Before I knew that, I went on and ordered suppressor height sights for this one, and I went on and put them on, and they're zero, they're dead on, so no problem there. Uh, let's see, anything else about this? I don't think that there's anything else to talk about. It is, they do have the sides of the slide, angles cut on those, uh, angles cut around the front of it, you can see. So it's very nicely done on the slide for the price. What I will do now, I'll take this thing apart again, and I'll put the factory Glock slide up against this one and let you see that. There's nothing really to see here, but uh, just for, for the sake of it, I'll put these two side by side. The brown ales is on the top. So you can really see no difference inside there. Now, I did take the internals out of the factory Glock slide and put in the brown L slide, but uh, really no difference. The sight, the front sight goes in the same way. It's got that same hole cut out for it. Uh, the back sight's going the same way. The... Also, when I first got this thing, I put the Glock factory sights on it because these sights hadn't come in the mail yet and the back the rear sight of the factory Glock sight went in just just fine almost all the way in with your finger I just had to tap it a little bit with a punch to get it centered however the Ameriglow sights that's what's on here Ameriglow uh, suppressor height sights this thing had to be I beat the far out of this thing to get it in uh, but it fits good it's got a good snug fit it's fine uh, so no issues there like i said over a thousand rounds and this thing is running flawless so check out the brown ales their glock slides are good to go in my opinion uh, this is todd red river tactical and outdoors uh, if you have any comments or questions please drop them below if you have any experience with the brown ale slide if you've had any problems with yours please drop them down below if you have any questions please put them below and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can but again, it's Todd. Remind you to always be safe and always be ready.